Hey guys, today in this video we are gonna talk about the most expensive things owned by Jake and Nicole and some of the best moments of their life. Hello and welcome to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any one of the interesting and informative videos. First on our list is their 30-foot Pacific Yurt in North Vancouver Island. The Pacific Yurt made by them is resilient and clean and beautifully carved. It has an estimated cost of about $15,300. It is built all by itself from scratch and they wanted to show the benefits of living in a yurt and thus decided to build and live in a yurt in the wilderness. Next is their DIY wood-fired hippie hot tub jacuzzi. The hot tub and the wood stove together have an estimated worth of $6,000. It's located outside their house and they use it to heat the rainwater of the forest. They use the tub to relax at times and to unwind after their hectic days. Next, they have an off-grid wood stove and chimney whose estimated value is $5,000. This was built to heat up the area inside the yurt and thus keep them warm and to dry up things. In addition, it is also used by them for cooking. Inside the chimney, it has insulation accessories as well for safety purposes which altogether gives an estimated value of $5,000. Next is their Striker Hunter Jet 420 boat whose estimated value is $4,900. Jake and Nicole use their striker inflatable boat to get around while they're in the wilderness in the woods. They use the boat for their adventure rides such as going to the ocean. The next expensive thing that they have is a $2,000 cubic mini wood stove. They installed a wood-fired mini stove in their bunky little cabin. The accessories installed in the wood stove like the stainless steel wall mount, metal roof, side shield miniature toolkit make it expensive and lead to such a high cost. Next on their list is their DIY brick and pizza oven which is worth $1000. It is built all by itself and sturdy and will last for decades. They've used a cup for the dome which makes it slightly less expensive. Along with all of these we cannot forget to add their list of their 8 acres of raw land in North Vancouver Island in the British Columbia and their bug out property in the tropics where they're living presently along with their baby fox. Next, let us talk about their best moments so far in their channel and life as well. In one of their videos, Jake and Nicole shared how they met each other and how they started their first ever memorable conversation through Instagram DMs in April 2017, which embarked on their happy relationship. While according to Nicole, she first heard about Jake when she was working as a preschool teacher in Paradise Valley in the Scottsdale area through her boss, who brought tickets for Jake's garden tour and insisted she joins. So, Nicole met Jake when he was giving his famous gardening workshops and seminars. Jake was going through a tough time as he recently had a divorce and was trying to overcome the relationship and trying to hook up with someone and Nicole just happened to him. As if stars aligned and they were destined to meet. So romantic, isn't it guys? They even enjoyed building the yurt together, all from scratch. It's a Pacific yurt and has created awareness about the benefits of living in a yurt. They put a lot of hard work into building the yurt and it's quite difficult for someone with no hands-on experience in construction. Moreover, they had to cope with the weather and attacks by wild animals, but with great determination and willpower, they managed to do so. Hats off to the guys. Viewers also were awestruck and were filled with a mix of a lot of emotions when Jake proposed to Nicole during their first sailing lesson in a sailboat. Everyone is now patiently waiting to see them tying knots and marrying each other. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best for this couple and wait for them to make their bonding even stronger. And now having Fox is one of the most precious and cherished moments of their life. Even though their plans of having a home birth was completely blown up and the COVID norms made things even worse, still they're enjoying their first time parenting moments and living to the fullest with their new baby member. With this, we come to the end of our video. Hope you all liked and enjoyed the video. Comment down below and share your own views about this couple and their off-grid living. We will be back with more enthralling and informative content. Till then, bye and take care.